episode of Badass Breeder. And Ivory's OFA health testing comes in and we find out who stays and who goes. Winnie, OFA hip. goes into labor and whelps her litter. However, tragedy strikes. Will we lose a puppy? Oh. Oh. into labor. The energy and the excitement at 4E Kennels is palpable. Oh. Oh. Baby, you had a beautiful baby. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The time of birth, 9.38. 9.38. Yeah, good job. Good morning. Oh, look at oh, you. Instinct kicking in. It, to wait for these new babies and the wonderment of what their life will hold and the hearts that they will heal and the lives that they will change is incredibly exciting. Beatrice went into labor and everything was going as planned. She was doing a phenomenal job. She was delivering one puppy after another for being her first litter. Things were just going really well. She's gonna make us do this again. I know. Perfect little babies. Beatrice was staying calm and focused. I'm afraid to not record. She'll just shoot it out. Seems like she's just been kind of shooting them out, hasn't she? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fast from yeah. the time they start crowning it, they're out. Oof, yeah. Oh, come on, Mama. Now you can see the bolting, so it's right there. Oh, there, there you go. Is. Oh, sorry. No, no, you're fine. Go ahead. Uh, Let me show, yeah, show us first. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Take a picture of that. That's gorgeous. Good job, Mama. Good job. Good job. You eating everything now? Yeah, you're a wiggly one. You're a wiggly one. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's
much do you think he weighs, Kelly? This is that blue yarn I don't like. Isn't this the weird color one? I don't like this one. It's just a weird blue. I just don't like it. It's just like I like the lighter blue. No, I don't like the navy blue. Are you checked what you do? Cleft palette. Double check it really is a boy. Oh, his little lip. Everything textbook perfect until a puppy came and Kelly had called me over. She knew instantly something was wrong. You just know, you just can tell the way the mom delivers a stillborn, you know the way it looks when it comes out, the way the sack looks. You just know, but there's always that glimmer of hope that maybe they made it out in time. We have brought back so many puppies through CPR um, and they were fine. So even when we have a puppy that we know does not have a heartbeat, we do not lose hope. We spring right into action of trying to revive this puppy full well knowing we don't know how long the puppy has been without a heartbeat but i feel it's our duty to try anyway the puppy was delivered we knew we needed to spring into action but we need to make sure the sack and the cord is detached and cleaned up before we can start cpr Oh, way too close, so way too close. Oh, oh, damn God. it, damn it. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's oh, the, no, I just lost a puppy. But unfortunately, uh, Beatrice made it very easy for us to realize that there was no bringing this puppy back. It, it clearly had been deceased inside her for some time and the puppy's skin was very thin. Um, and when she, nor, just like they normally do, they'll eat at the sack um, and they will apply a little pressure, but it just um, opened up this entire puppy and all of the organs came out uh, right into Kelly's hands. Sorry, I was just trying to get him to be fine, but I did not even, the, the puppy wasn't there. The sack was intact and everything, I took a off, no response at all. Was, there was something wrong with the poor puppy. Stop. Kelly? Yeah. Have you seen Clef Palette? I didn't No, I said, have you actually seen it? Did I have it? Yes. I want to see it. That's why. Um, Sam, go sit with Beatrice. Cliff palette yeah. all the way. Oh, yeah, so definitely deformities. And it was, yeah. Yep. Which mm -hmm. definitely made a. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, it was not meant to.
sweet. It's a super narrow face. Yeah. See the shape of the face. Oh, look at the nose too. Well, the, well it looks kind of different. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh something all right. Would you wear be? So bless you, little baby. Mm -hmm. Just not meant to be mm -hmm. ours, you know. Ours. Just not mm -hmm. meant to be ours. always incredibly devastating when we lose a puppy um, even when there's nothing we could have done it was clear that that puppy had um, died inside Beatrice it just forever how long um, but it's always incredibly tough and as a breeder uh, you know to evaluate the situation completely I feel that that's important and upon um, really looking at this puppy we saw that there were other issues um, cleft palate it's an opening in the roof of the mouth uh, this is our first ever cleft palate at 4E kennel so that's kind of a low blow it, it's a deformity it's a birth defect uh, we've been incredibly lucky that we've never had one with you know the puppies that we have produced that would have been a very difficult life if we would have even been able to keep that puppy alive with a hole in the roof of its mouth so all in all you know sometimes as cruel it is as it is mother nature just takes care of itself and we have to find peace in that that this puppy was just not meant to be here while we mourn the loss of potentially what could be it's really important that everybody moves on quickly. We don't make a big deal of it. We don't relay those emotions to Beatrice because all she's gonna see and feel is why are my humans feeling upset or trepidatious about my babies or my delivery. And um, so it's incredibly important not to push human emotions on a dog that we bounce right back. Kelly did a phenomenal job just uh, proceeding with the delivery. We had a healthy puppy after that. and ensuring that Beatrice didn't feel any of that. They live in the moment. So just removing the puppy, proceeding as normal, staying focused and happy and uh, gracious for what she has given us is so important. Come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on, you're almost there. Almost there. They will not skip a beat either. They just won't. That's the reality. They're not going to mourn the loss of a puppy that, they're, that they didn't even know.
Nicole is the only one that stayed the same the rest of the game, so I'll make sure that she's trying to Okay, so just one, that's not too bad. One loss and everybody else stayed the same. Everybody else gained. Oh, everybody else gained. Yeah. So we had all gains, one loss. Well, not lost, stayed. Stayed. Oh, okay. Stayed yeah. the same purple, everybody else gained. Yep. Okay, that's good. So that's good. Winnie and Ivory to get their OFA hips and elbows checked to ensure that we weren't looking at dogs that had deformities in their hip joint or their elbows. And it's always a, a you know a, a tough time because these dogs that we have raised since puppyhood could easily be uh, could fail and remove from our program. And so it's a uh, we kind of hold our breath for the three weeks waiting for the health testing to come in after it is done i wait and i see and i'm like okay the credit card's been charged ofa is looking at the x-rays and then waiting for them to be mailed And we put so much time, energy, love, and money into our dogs. So I brought the mail in to the nursery and called a staff meeting. We opened up the um, OFA results and I read them off. Winnie, OFA hip, good. Yay. Elbows, passed. Yay. Winnie is in. All right. Ivory. Ivory scored a fair. 
which is passing on prelims, but per our standards, she will be on hold. She will be re-x-rayed at two years old for official clearance, so she's on hold and uh, passed for echo dysplasia. It's incredibly exciting that Winnie has been entered into our program um, and can now be scheduled for a litter. Ivory, it's, it's tough. It's, it's not an end-all be-all. I believe in this dog. Her temperament is so incredible that she will stay with us for another eight months. And when she is uh, two years old, she will be x-rayed again for her official and final OFA reading of her hips. That will be the determining score. So as of now, she's just on hold. Winnie is in, Ivory's on hold. Okay. Not too bad. No, right? That's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Good stuff. So overall, not a bad day. There's no definitive removing either one from our program. So in the scheme of things, that's a good day at Forey Kennels.